City says there is an immediate danger and citizens could, quote, be harmed or killed if the vault nightclub continues to operate. Jackie Sprague asked how this is impacting you. She's live with our top story at 11. Well, these court documents contain dozens of pages of police reports on fights, shootings, and even homicides here at the Vault Nightclub. It's these acts of violence that help lead to, it, lead to its temporary closure today. Flashing lights are a common sight at the Vault Nightclub on Jefferson Street in downtown Dayton. In the past year alone, police have responded to more than 120 calls. We've uh, had to use a lot of resources, overtime resources, uh, on-duty resources, which has drained our call taking ability, our preventative patrol in the downtown area. Uh, we've had numerous calls there, uh, acts of violence which have occurred inside the vault and then moved to the parking lots outside. So it's a, a large financial drain on the police department. And taxpayers. A absolutely, and the taxpayers. The temporary injunction issued by a judge today will shut down the club for the next two weeks until a hearing on July 12th. Took a community effort, downtown Dayton Partnership, the business owners, and the prosecutor's office, the law department, the clerk of courts, and members of the Dayton Police Department. I'm confident that after the judge sees uh, our police reports, again, and the community outpour that will be there attending this uh, hearing to close this club down permanently. Carlo Allen works downtown and also hopes the nightclub remains closed. Uh, the vault is such a serious disgrace on the city because you got violence, you got ignorance. So why would you come into a situation, try to have a good time when you know when you leave the nightclub, it is drama and it's very much a whole lot of <laughs> something that you don't even want to be around. Now I tried calling the owners of the Vault Nightclub tonight for a comment but have yet to hear back. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.